right field today. Um, probably couldn't have gone better for you in your debut. Huh? Oh yeah, that was really, that was really good. Any um, nerves at all coming in here? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it's third year in college, first game. All these fans feels a lot of nerves, but I mean, turning into confidence and just changed the way we looked at it. But right. with Logan's hit, I mean, if he got a double to the gap that brought him two, it's certainly going to rejuvenate the bench a little bit. But to, to hit a ball all the way out of the ballpark like he did, does that just mean a little something extra for the bench as far as kind of getting you guys going overall? Oh, yeah. I mean, a wall scraper is going to be a lot different than the ball Logan hit. I mean, we're down 2-0, and he hits a three-run bomb regardless if it's wall scraper or not. It's going to get the bench up. Logan, what's your mindset when you step up there with two guys on you down? Um, I mean, walking up to the plate, it's obviously kind of going through your head like, hey, I can hit a home run right here and put us back in the lead. Um, I was had a clear mindset because I was, I mean, going into the weekend, we've got, I think it was two righties um, Friday, Saturday starting. So I knew that going in, I was preparing a lot from the left side. So a lot of times it's the opposite. Like when I step around to the right, right, right side of the box, um, my head's kind of clear because I haven't been doing anything as, or doing as much or thinking as much. So, I mean, I was just sitting fastball and he gave me one right there. So. <laughs> Carson, no, no pressure. You don't get a clean inning. You get the bases loaded. What's your mindset as you're heading out there with the bases juiced? I mean, like you said, there's no pressure out there. We've got guys, we've got guys like Logan, Michael behind me, so I know all i got to do is pound the strike zone, and we got a good chance of getting them out. I mean, I pitched my strength the whole night, which is my fastball, my change up, and then I just kind of let my fastball take off and hope one of these guys can make a play. How often do you practice practice? <laughs> you know, I mean, that, 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 goes go. back, that goes back to my uh, freshman year, you know, when I had a little third base in me, just kind of <laughs> natural athlete on the mound. <laughs> Could have let it go, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, now, so much was made out of, out of the bats that you lost with, with Deere and Williams last year, all the home runs that you guys hit last year. Uh, did, did, you, did you guys show today that, that you can really kind of pick up where you left off? Oh, off? yeah. I mean, we've, we've got a lot of guys that can hit home runs. It's just not, they haven't been kind of established as home run hitters yet. Um, we've got a number of guys, Mike Green, uh, Bryce Teodosio, Cooper didn't even play tonight. Like we've got a lot of guys that have a lot of power. Um, they're just not established, so to speak. So they're just not known yet, I guess. Mike, this is a step up in competition for you. How much fun is it to come out here in this setting and be able to homer in your front? <laughs> Amazing. I mean, it was more than I could dream of. Honestly, I mean, coming from JUCO, where you had like 10 people at your games coming here, <laughs> walking out, seeing everyone, it's it's amazing. And then playing good just puts a cherry on top. Do you even remember the trip around the bases? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll remember that. Probably won't forget it. <laughs> won't forget that one. Well, you mentioned the presence of some other big bats, but do you feel like you still kind of have to be the alpha dog of this lineup? And are those the kind of kind of big hits uh, in the power that you expect to come up with? Um, I mean, yeah, I would like to come up with those hits when we need them. But I mean, ultimately, like I'm not the only hitter here. Like we've got a lot of really good hitters that are going to be able to, you know, come through for us when we need them to. It's all about that trust and trusting your lineup. But I mean, I think bottom line is there can be a lot of adjustments made. I mean, it's early in the season too. So I think, I think you're going to see a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good ball club for us coming out of the offensively. Carson came out of the pen a lot last year. Uh, do you see yourself kind of in that middle room? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I talk about it. I kind of am the leader of our bullpen in that area, and I kind of talk about it with those guys. It's kind of like dominate your role. And to dominate your role, then you'll be able to grow into a different role that you want. Everybody obviously wants to start on the weekend. That's just like all the hype and everything like that. But to get there, you got to dominate the role you're in now to be able to get another job. What pitches do you feel are working pretty well for you right now? Uh, my fastball, I mean, it had life on it tonight. I was throwing it pretty good. It was still two seamen pretty good. But then my changeup, which I developed this summer, it was another. It was a great secondary pitch for me, and I'm, if I'm able to throw that to both right-handed and left-handers, I'll be pretty good. Anything else? All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>